Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again returning to our topical weather analysis and this is for Monday through Wednesday, July 27 to 29, 2020 and this weather TV update is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set beginning today, Monday through tomorrow, Tuesday we have here an uh, increasing cloudiness or what called as a trough known is now known as a monsoon monsoon trough since the uh, winds is coming from the southwest and from the east or northeast the convergence of those two trade winds or those two wind flows will create this monsoon trough and since we are on the southwest monsoon season that's the reason why it's called the monsoon trough and we have a weak LPA also developing right here, quasi-stationary, barely moving. And this LPA together with the monsoon trough will bring some scattered to widespread rain showers and thunderstorms across the central and southern Philippines that includes Mindanao, Visayas, Palawan, Sulu Archipelago. Then tomorrow over the Bicol region, so expect some uh, lots of thunderstorms occurring over these areas so take uh, watch out for lightning strikes or possible flash floods just in case a severe thunderstorm passes over your area so that's the uh, latest on the uh, lpa the weak lpa in the monsoon trough elsewhere good weather across the philippine islands except for some isolated discarded rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected particularly in the afternoon or evening we have another surface stuff here of uh, central Micronesia, a weak LPA just to the southeast of a large high pressure cell to the south of Japan and the frontal system or stationary major front moving towards Korea and Japan. So that's the latest from our uh, uh, graph set and as we look at our fast animation you can see here the developing uh, weak LPA and some computer models okay half of it uh, forecast it to uh, become an active one as it passes close to the Bicol region in the next two days probably on Wednesday or Thursday and it will it will move closer towards northern Luzon on Friday so watch out for that and as we look at our zoom in satellite animation from windy.com this is the infrared satellite where you can see the increasing thunderstorm array of uh, thunderstorm forming over the uh, Visayas and approaching the Bicol region so watch out for some rainfall activity within the next 12 to 24 hours and as we look at our uh, two-day rain and wind forecast from the ECMWF model this is from the windy.com app you can see that lots of rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected all throughout the country and also on Wednesday so that's the latest on the uh, weather situation we'll be having some increasing rainfall activity across the eastern sections of the country because of the developing weak LPA this is the model from the ECMWF that will be on Wednesday very close to the Bicol region that small circulation embedded within the monsoon trough and this is the three day rainfall accumulation look at that so wide so these are the rainfall uh, events all across the philippine islands brought about by the uh, localized thunderstorms and the lpa as well as the monsoon trough and the possible enhancement of the southwest monsoon once the system moves over the area of extreme or northern extreme northern or northern Luzon this Friday so uh, that's the latest from our weather TV update and we will be returning again on uh, Wednesday but if that weak LPA becomes a tropical depression we will be uh, uh, being right away our weather TV update by tomorrow but most likely on Wednesday so, from Typhoon2000.com, this is Mike Paddy reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag TyphoonWiser. And thank you for watching Weather TV.